Are you struggling with your TensorFlow model's performance when using batch normalization? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many developers face. Batch normalization breaking the network when is training is set to false. I totally get how frustrating it can be when your model behaves differently during training and inference. It can feel like you're chasing your tail trying to figure out what's going wrong. You're definitely not the only one experiencing this. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user mentioned that when they set is training to true, they get much better results. They are wondering if the issue lies in loading the weights or if there's something wrong in the code. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this discrepancy? When is training is set to false, the batch normalization layer uses moving averages instead of batch statistics. If the moving averages are not updated correctly during training, it can lead to poor performance during inference. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a crucial tip that can help you avoid this issue in the future. First, the user should ensure that the batch normalization layer is correctly configured for inference. When is training is set to false, the layer should use the moving averages of the mean and variance instead of the batch statistics. Next, the user needs to verify that the moving averages are being updated during training. This is crucial because if they are not updated, the model will not perform well during inference. The user should also check the loading of the saved weights. It's important to ensure that the batch normalization parameters are included in the saved model. If they are not, the model will not behave as expected during inference. Finally, the user can test the model with both is training set to true and false. This will help identify if the issue lies with the batch normalization layer or elsewhere in the model. Fun fact. Batch normalization was introduced to help deep networks train faster and achieve better performance. It's like giving your model a little boost of energy. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user addresses the issue with batch normalization in TensorFlow. They found that the problem arises from the need to update moving mean and moving variance in the tf.layers.batch normalization layer. To fix this, they suggest modifying the training process to include update operations. This involves using tf.getCollection to gather update ops and wrapping the optimizer creation in a control dependency to ensure these updates occur correctly. Here's the tip I promised. Always monitor your batch normalization statistics during training. This can help you catch any issues early on and ensure your model performs well during inference. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to resolve the issues with your batch normalization layer. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on TensorFlow and deep learning.